Welcome to an NC Live crash course. This video is a quick introduction to using Data Axle reference solutions at your library. To find Data Axle, we'll start on the NC Live homepage. If you are accessing our resources remotely, don't forget to log in with your library. The easiest way to find the database is by clicking on the Browse All Databases link and then jumping directly to the D section. The first thing that you need to know about this database is that it has a treasure trove of local data. You do not need to create a separate account to access that data. However, you can create an account if you would like to save your searches and build custom lists. When you enter Data Axle for the first time, you will see that there are several different data sets to choose from, but here are the ones that might be most relevant to patrons. The U.S. Businesses dataset has profiles on 81 million businesses. It has detailed information on local businesses as well as franchises and corporations. The U.S. Consumers and Lifestyles database allows you to search to find people in your area whose self-reported hobbies and interests align with the business you're looking to develop. The U.S. New Homeowners database tracks all the new homeowners in your area. This can be useful if you're trying to come up with a print or email marketing campaign for your business. Let's get started with a search in the U.S. Businesses dataset. You can use the quick search to find a known company by their name or executive, or you can use the advanced search. Most of the time, you'll want to use the advanced search. In there, you can add filters such as industry codes, geographic location, and type of ownership. Here's our sample search. How many breweries are there in the Asheville metro area? We'll start off by adding Asheville under metro area. This includes surrounding towns like Arden and Weaverville. Then I'll search for the corresponding industry code by keyword. In this case, it will be brewers instead of breweries. I'll go to the upper right corner and update my count. When I click view results, I see the full list of businesses. Data Axel also has some tools for analyzing the set of businesses. I can click on summary to see the breakdown of businesses by sales volume. As you can see here, there are 41 businesses with a sales volume that is greater than 20 million. This is a considerable amount of sales volume for a small metro area, and that's part of what makes Asheville unique. I can export this table to Excel or print it. I'll go back to my results page to view the charts feature. This tool allows you to create graphs of this data set. It has pre-made a graph that shows what breweries are within the city of Asheville. I can also create a graph that represents the breakdown of sales volume by business. You can change it from a pie chart to a bar graph. I can then export this graph as an image file and add it to a PowerPoint or a document. I also have a reference for this graph that I can add to the references slide of a presentation. We can also switch this graph to see the breakdown of employee size. When I do that, I can see that one brewery has more than 100 employees. I can then immediately check to see who this outlier is. I see that it is Highland Brewing Company. I'll go back to the search results and share a few more ways of exploring this list. If a business has a corporate tree on the furthest right column, you can click on it to see what its other locations are and what its parent company is. I'll select New Belgium Brewing and I can see the parent company is based in Fort Collins, Colorado. You can also download any list as a spreadsheet and create your own graphs for it in Excel. There is a limit on the number of lists that you can download in a given search session. This is mostly in place to prevent security issues. There is also another search that you can do in the businesses database that might be useful to your city or local government. 
you can figure out what the top industries are in your area. For example, let's look at the top industries in the Charlotte metro area. I'll clear my results and add Charlotte as my metro area and then update my results. I see that there are more than 100,000 businesses in that area. I can view results and go to the chart section. According to Data Axel, doctors and surgeons are the top field, followed by restaurants and nurses. This tells me that healthcare is a major industry in Charlotte. Again, I can export this graph to include in a presentation. Another useful database in this resource is a consumers and lifestyles data set. This contains demographic information and consumer preferences. It can help local entrepreneurs determine their target market. It can also be used to find key demographic information on your patrons. Let's take a sample scenario. If I have a jewelry business, how can I find some potential customers for a direct email marketing campaign? I can answer that question by selecting lifestyles and then it opens up the various interests. These are gathered from more than 100 data sources and are updated on a monthly basis. People can rate their interest on a scale of zero to nine. Anyone who rates their interest as higher than a six is included when you select a particular interest. For the jewelry business example, I can select accessories and stylish women's apparel. I'll select Winston-Salem as my location. Let's look at one final data set that could be useful to patrons, which is the U.S. New Homeowners data set. Here's another hypothetical scenario. You're an owner of a painting business in Chapel Hill, and you want to market to new homeowners in the area. We can come up with a list of people to market to in print and digitally. Here's how we do that. We'll actually use the map-based tool to create a set area for marketing. This is a great tool if you want to set a specific location, such as a neighborhood or a series of neighborhoods. All you have to do is click on four points and double click to set the shape. Then you'll update results to see the new homeowners in that specific area. I'll also go to the home ownership section to specify that we want to find confirmed homeowners. Here are the highlights for using Data Axle Reference Solutions. This is a powerful tool for local entrepreneurs as well as your business support organizations and community partners. This is one of those data-rich tools that entrepreneurs, companies, and nonprofits can all use for free. Its downloadable data and high-quality graphs can immediately be used in presentations and reports. It has such a wide variety of uses, whether you're a prospective entrepreneur or looking for community data for your next grant. NC Live has additional training on data axle reference solutions. You can find links to these resources in the description section below. Thanks for viewing this NC Live crash course. If you're interested in learning more about our resources and skills that are relevant to librarianship, Subscribe to the NC Live YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button below.